for the Igbo man that says an Igbo presidency is not tenable, we should also remind him that his kingsmen died in the civil war. And if he says his kingsmen that died have no rights to presidency, then he's saying that those that died in the civil war probably died in vain. Because we will forget the terms of the civil war. We forget in a hurry. Anyway, how are we going to remember when we have a country where they don't teach history in school? We forget that the marginalization complained about in the civil war is still the marginalization happening today. We forget that it has taken over 40 years to complete the second Niger breach. And these are the things the Igbo cry marginalization for. We forget that rail has been done in some other parts of the country, but no rail has been done in Igbo land. We forget that the Igbo people still complain of a debt of federal infrastructure. So if these people are complaining and they say Igbo presidency is the pathway for reassurance, and an Igbo man says nothing for you, that you have to make peace with Nigeria, then it speaks volumes of what the person said and who the person is. But you should remember that it is righteousness that exalts a nation. And Pontiac should be careful with the things they say to their own people just because of political benefits. All right. All right, great people. All right, my great people. I hope every one of you understand every single thing that Rufai said. I hope you get the point. I hope every one of us understand this tape that we just finished listening now. If you don't understand it, I want you to go back again and listen to it. Then you begin to understand. But before I proceed, I want to tell you people the genesis of all these things. Because some of our people have forgotten. If you haven't forgotten, I want to remind you what Amadou Bello said. When we're trying to search for our own people and we couldn't, we will go for their own people. We will use them as a willing tool. That is the reason why you see they put hope, who's or them, why in Imo State to begin to do their bits. That is exactly what is playing today. Marginalization. And I hope you people haven't forgotten the reason why. 1967 to 1970 genocidal war against the Biafran people. You know our people forget things very easily. And we are here to remind you things that you have already been forgotten. We have been saying this time with that number, IPOB Mazen Nam Yokugano. And the Mazen Nam the Kano is still today in DSS dungeon because of the same issue. Rufai did a very good work. He knew it. What they call this thing that Rufai did is bombshed. He exploded. And I hope every one of you got the point. But let me tell you people also the reason why we Biafrans are going away from our land. Because some people are saying, why can't you stay in your land? Now pay attention, I have said this time with that number. The reason why we are going away from our land. We so much love and cherish our land. We want to remain in the land of Biafra and develop it. But there is no how you can do it. Because after that genocidal war, ended in 1970. The zoo called Nigeria denied the Biafran people the presence of government. They moved every infrastructure in that contraption to west and north. That is the reason why we are in this mess that we are. They deny us everything in totality because they want us to scatter all over the world. Because they want Biafra, people not to talk about Biafra anymore. That is the reason why they took everything from us. And you know at the same time, they are sucking us and milking us dry. The oil is coming from our land. And the same thing that happened that Sultan of Sokoto have 23 oil wells in our land. 
and you can never find any man from Biafra has oil, any oil well. Now you begin to understand it. I hope you get the point. But let me introduce myself before I will go to this news. I want us to listen to it in detail, what Rufai said from his mouth. My great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people over the world, you are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenina Okechuku, known as the Pia Franchise, the one the general. Now listen to the news in detail. Rufai said it had been over 40 years to complete Second Niger Bridge. Now you understand it. The guy deserves accurate. This air Rufai, I was so flabbergasted. I could not wait this from his mouth. But the same thing that we have been saying, marginalization, now you begin to understand it. And I want you people to understand that you are not part of Nigeria. You are not in Nigeria. And you can never be. Because remember what this idiot who opposed them must said. I think that was uh, early this year, he said. That the full anin should continue with this presidency. That they were born to rule. Any day they feel like to release it a, just a bit for them. They will be appreciated. That is what Hope was told the Fulani people because they make him a willing to in Imo state to keep on maiming and killing our people. Now you understand it. I hope you are getting the point. Rufai also said that we have forgotten that rail have been done in other places in that zoo called Nigeria, but none in Biafra land. Rail, I mean train, train rail, train, transporting goods. When you go to that zoo called Nigeria, you will see rail everywhere. But in Biafra land, there is none. Kudos to you, Rufai. Hey, let me continue. <clears throat> and the Rufai told us to remind this hope, those of them were, the Abuja made governor, that we should remind him that his king's men died during the genocidal war against Biafran people, we should remind him. But hope was the man don't care because he is a willing to. He is a full and a boy boy. There is nothing you can tell this man. He has vowed to defend full and a because they have already vandalized his annals. They are under oath. They will never change. I am saying things the way it is, and I hope you are getting the point. That is the reason why we are in this predicament that we are. Predicament that we are today. Now you understand it. There is no two ways about it. And we will keep on saying what we are saying and nothing you can do about it because Biafra is the key. Rufai said, you know, in Nigeria, Rufai said, nobody is a Nigerian. <laughs> Another one. In Nigeria, what happened in 1967 is about to repeat itself again because Nigeria teaches no history. That means that Nigeria has no history. Nobody is a Nigerian. Rufai said it. Now you begin to understand. The same thing they are back to tell us, the same thing we have been saying. I want you people to know that they have already joined the coup. And they have begun to start saying what we have been saying. And there is nothing you can do about it. I want you people to understand that this guy make me, you know, he make me feel happy. Uh, he make my day. I want you people to understand that the Fulani are coming with ethnic cleansing. The Fulani that you see today they are still going to take over in 2023. By that time, they are going to officialize their state of Fulani in that contraption. They're going to make it official 
Fulani country Nigeria. Wait, you will see it very, very soon. Okay, moon from Nanya, and you begin to understand that we never lie. I keep on saying the reason why we are in this mess that we are because we are not one people. Oil and water can never mix up. Mazen Nandekano, thank you very much for opening our eyes and opening the eyes of those people that find themselves in that contraption called Damnibu Zoo. Now they begin to understand that Nigeria is not for you. Nobody is a Nigerian. That is the reason why they don't teach history in Nigeria. Because you are not a Nigerian. How would they teach you a history that you are not part of? I want you to get a point. Good day and welcome.